Lucas Media, shout out to everybody. The ones who support me and the ones who hate me. But every Caitlin Clark brought a lot of eyes to the WNBA over the last month. And really just the women's college basketball, her and Angel Reese. But just like clockwork, you got the haters coming out. And even some of her co-workers, you know, instead of them just riding the riding the wave, they've been doing a lot of a lot of sneak dissing. Well, several people came out and said something. LeBron came out and spoke out uh, for Caitlin. And even Charles Barkley, NBA Hall of Famer, top 75 player, Olympic gold medalist, has some things to say as well. I'm going to play a little bit of the audio fair use. I'm going to play a little bit of it, and then I'll come back with my thoughts. You women out there. Man. Hey, LeBron, you 100% right on these girls hating on Caitlin Clark. Y'all petty girls. I expect men to be petty because we're the most insecure group in the world. Oh, you are. Y'all should be thanking that girl for getting y'all ass private charters. All the money and visibility she bring into the WNBA. Don't be petty like dudes. Listen, what she's accomplished, give her her flowers. Stop being petty, all you women out there. She got y'all ass charters. She... I'm going to stop it right there. But, I mean, I have to agree with, with Sir Charles. Why, why, why hate on somebody when you was just flying Delta commercial last year and now you flying charters? Why hate on that? Why hate on that when nobody was watching the WNBA? Nobody. You go to WNBA game, get four seats, $50 a ticket. But now that Caitlin Clark comes in and Angel Reese came in, now you starting to see more people go to games and and possible team expansions and like like keep saying you're flying that now you're no longer flying commercial see i guess i i don't understand this because i'm looking at it from a practical standpoint right even with this space that i'm in if somebody comes in this space and takes it to a whole nother level and it put eyes on all of us that's fine everybody's eating i'm not gonna turn around and hate on something like that even with, like I said, with Caitlin Clark, the WNBA players have been whining and crying for years. Oh, do nobody watch our games, and and nobody wants to support us. And okay, finally, thanks to the NCAA, finally uh, letting players get paid, and you know you, now you can put athletes on commercials and all of that. And Caitlin and Angel Reese are re- likable people. Now you got the casual fans starting to say, hey. Okay, let me let me check out the WNBA. And I've been making video after video telling these players and the people who run the WNBA not to mess this up. But that's what happens, man. Women are very competitive and catty with each other. And that's all that you're seeing. Yes, Caitlin Clark is going to struggle. She's going to go through her woes. She may never be what people thought she would be. But she still helped change the WNBA. And be thankful for that. Be thankful that people like us are actually making videos because just go back a couple years ago. Who was making videos about the WNBA? We're not. I'm not. I'm not taking away the Hall of Famers that they have. They have. You, you can't take that from them. But we're talking. To, nobody. Can, you could be the best person in your sport, but if you don't have eyes on you, aka the casuals, nobody's. It's not going to matter. So be grateful that she heard that the young talent is coming up and that they're able to take advantage of the nil deals to make your sport better everybody eats off of it but i just want to get my quick thoughts about it tell me what y'all think